fish on, baby. <laughs> okay, you're gonna wanna kick out towards me this way because if he gets in Yeehaw! that. <laughs> fish on, dude, he thumped it. Oh, nice! <laughs> oh, he just broke off. Oh. Oh. That was a big fish. Dude, it was. Boom. I mean, he just crushed it. See, and they're getting more aggressive. They are just flat out. Yeah, he bit me right. It just took me, took my line right off. I, it just snapped. Dude, that is awesome. Muskie fishing, tiger muskies right here. Scuds flying tackle, Morgan, Utah. JC, his dad, senior Jack. They'll put you on the muskies. It is incredible. The tigers. This is just awesome. It's about to happen. This was the lucky spot last time. It's right here. I'm a trout weenie at heart, and that's where my roots are. And as of late, I've been chasing warm water stuff. <laughs> Way to go, man! <laughs> Oh, dude. It's right. a 10 weight and he was putting the heat to me. <laughs> I've been fishing for five, six hours. I've been fishing all day. I haven't had a hit. That's the first hit that I got, but I can go home now. And that's how musky fishing is. Don't come out here expecting to have a 30 fish trout day. Anyway, just cast it into those bushes and Started pulling it out, got in here real stealthy on my Diablo Paddle Sports Chubacabra and uh, threw this musky toe in red and white into him and I uh, felt one tick and I knew he was coming back again, that's that's how it happens usually and he hit it again and I stripped it in and looks like we got a really good hook up on him and Getting oh, oh, the yeah. toe. There you go. <laughs> There's a big. The size of that fish, the weight, how hard they pull, that's what makes it worth coming out and cast until your arm's numb to, to try and get one in hand. Tiger Musky out of the Diablo Paddle Sports Chupacabra. He hammered a fin pusher original musky toe in red and white. Hit it hard once, you know, like a nice tick, and I knew he was coming back again. Nice Tiger Musky. <laughs> Another toad ski. Up here with uh, Jack from Scuds. Hired these guys <laughs> to show me how it's done, and, and here we are. They're showing me how it's done. <laughs> I had to change up the trolling pattern just a little bit, see if I couldn't uh, you know, slow it down, speed it up, try to make the bait move a little more realistically, and it seemed to help. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good fish, good fish. Keep your hand on the cord, it will snap that rod in half. Hold it over. Dude, he's not. He is not he's wanting not playing. to. No. A lot of times these bigger fish too have been caught before. They're smart. Oh yeah, we got a nice one. Another nice one. I mean, it was the tick. It was the tick again, the same tick. Well, if you lose him, that was nothing more than, I mean, I felt nothing more than taking your finger and, and sliding it across the side of your hand and setting the hook. Um, and he was there. We use a strip set. You strip as much and pull up at the same time to take up all the slack. You've got so much line out to catch up with the fish. You've got to, to pull everything all at once to catch up with them. When you're on one of those, you're at the mercy of them. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about right there. <laughs> He's fished this one right here. He probably weighs a little over 10 pounds. That's a big fish. That's another monster fish. That's a monster fish. That's probably 37, 36, 37 inches right there. <laughs> Telling you what. <laughs> That's what you come up here for. Goodbye, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs>